Previously on Revelations 2. Mother of both! My life is awesome! That bitch stuck a needle in me? Claire, get up to the roof! See? We're like sisters. Oh my dear little That's Claire, we lost the girl. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. Barry, there's something right there. I've been waiting for you. Wait, well, that's one hell of a parking job. Me and Moira got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Two Westers. Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations 2, Episode 3, Judgment, is where we are now, we're, we're in Episode 3. And I'll not have you passing any judgment on me, for I am going to make my way through this like a professional without any problemos whatsoever. Claire, any luck? No. No sign of her. What could have happened? Oh, that's right. Natalia was taken from... Moira, look. Someone Natalia was kidnapped while they were watching a helicopter crash. And on a scale of bullshit to believable? Neil wrote this. It's legit. On a scale of bullshit to believable, this falls under possible trap. Okay. I can't believe we lost the girl. Gotta remember the controls. She might have just taken cover. We can look for her as we go. Oi, laddie. Let's make it fast and quickly then. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing in the game, but I don't know what I'm doing commentary-wise. Why the boss come here? I don't know. Neil just does things sometimes. Yeah, Neil. What a weirdo, that guy. Okay, I don't know what I was doing there. Through the door! No going back now. That's a sign of possible danger lurking. I'm just gonna go ahead and choppity woppity this. Now if I remember correctly, there is a Resident Evil game where sometimes when you break those boxes open, there's snakes in them that attack you. Like a jump scare deal, and you, just gotta, you gotta kill them. Now, I can't remember which one it is. I think it might be five. My memory's a little hazy on the matter, but... Welcome to the Keerling, where all things come to an end. It's her again. It's like she's got eyes everywhere. No shit, that's what cameras Something's are for. not right about this. Be careful. Anywho... Before I was so rudely interrupted by the villain. Um... Uh, this has got red over it, which means we can't go this way. Yeah. We have to go in a certain order. That statue explodes when you get close to it. At some point. A retina scan. We need an eyeball, and it's not ours, I can tell you that much. Anyways, though, back to what I was saying. I've been playing Resident Evil 4 use your in help. VR. And it's kind of got me thinking... Um... Whenever I go to break a box, there's just something about playing any horror game in VR, even Resident Evil, even when they're more action-focused. Damn, where is the one on this? Something about VR just makes it spooky. Like, Skyrim, decidedly not a horror game, is actually kind of scary in VR sometimes. And if you think I'm shitting you, go ahead and give it a try. At some point. Fight those frost back or frostbite spiders in um in VR 
get nibbled on by wolves in VR and then come back and tell me if Skyrim isn't a little bit creepy in VR. But anyways, uh, in Resident Evil 4, I'm always expecting there to be something in the boxes I'm breaking open with my knife. This is Niels. Behold Prometheus, who was bound to a rock for stealing divine power. That's nice. Where's Neil? If you want to see him again, you'll have to brave the scaffold of the gods. We've got to hurry. Neil needs me. He needs you? <sighs> Let's search inside. Okay, now we can go in here. She's opened it for us. That statue doesn't explode until we put the thing inside it that we need. It's, uh, I already know that it's coming, but it's meant to be a surprise. On your first playthrough, you don't know it's happening, and it, and it definitely tricks you. But uh, we'll know it's coming this time, and hopefully we'll avoid it. Hopefully. Okay, do I have any upgrades? I do not. All right. Well, I guess that's that then. Moira, you're not doing a good job at finding shit for me. Where's the shinies, huh? Where are the shinies, Moira? Find me the fucking shinies. Uh, there are no shinies around, I suppose. Hiya, Bendifo. All right. Who's ready to get shooted? Why do you ask? Because you are zombie. Good morning, friends. This bright day presents a bright future. You are zombie, and I am human. Помойте руки. We must do the thing. Alright, is everybody happy now? Oh, cool. Okay, cool. I think we're good. I don't know which floor I should be going to. I'm just gonna do things. There's probably someone in here. I'll let you pick that up. Okay, just making sure. Okay. You never know in a game like this. Resident Evil, sometimes it's... Hiya! Michael Bay, high octane action! And sometimes it's... Ooh, spooky. It, it, it alternates. It definitely alternates. Ooh, could you see what I mean? Spooky creature in the dark made creepy noise that scared me. Uh oh. But then he was easily taken down with a shotgun. But then he transformed into a blooper boopin. And now he's dead again. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Burp. Okay. You, odorous chemical. Combine it with something. Oh, you can't. There is nothing to combine it with. Nothing to combine it with. Nya, 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 nya. Actually, I do need to do something, though. For my inventory. Now, what's in here? I need a processing plant key. Well, that's a lot to process. <laughs> okay, upstairs then. Print the scanner. scanner in a factory. God damn this! It's not gonna let us through. Which means we need someone else's eyeball. Yay. The same asshole who designed the Arclay Mansion probably designed this factory. Oh, there's one in here. I hear him. He's got a wrench, too. Buddy, you think I'm stupid. Was 
Was that it? I was expecting more. Okay. I can't be too confident and cocky when I'm playing on casual. Uh, Remember, we're in this for the story. This factory had to be a fucked up factory. And by fucked up factory, you mean a place full of pu oh shit biscuits and tater tots. Uh, look at the ceiling. I remember this. Yeah, the moment we take the key, something's gonna go awry. Alright, so we gotta find something to put in there to replace the eyeball with. Okay, so do I go through here first? No, I need a processing plant key. God damn it. So I have to go into the spike room. Wait. Okay, so I remember now. This is actually pretty... The hint is right here on the floor. It's this note. It says... You should just accept your death quietly, like a grown-up. Now, and she mentioned that she can't shoot the thing. It's too tough. So what we have to do is we have to crouch... And take this so that the ceiling starts coming down, and let it come down long enough to crush this statue so that we can take the key. And then we can put the eye back before we get killed. There we go. We need that key in order to get something to replace the eye with in order to keep going forward. I have no idea what you're saying, but it can't be- oh. Turn into big fat blobby guys, or are you done? Never trust anything to actually stay dead in these things. Oh, okay, so that was just a shortcut back down. But we do can use the key down here for all sorts of reasons. This room being one of them. Oh, fuck this. I remember this puzzle. Let's go check out the other rooms real quick first. Shit. Oh, God! I, I, something blew up on me. Oh, I can't see. Hold on. I was hitting the wrong button. Hold on. <laughs> Moira was holding her own though, I can't lie. I'm kinda proud. Oh, cool, I can get in here now. <laughs> Flashlight. Thank you. I'll take that from you in a minute. Ooh. Nothing? Okay. Well, here I was thinking that we needed the processing plant key to get in here, and all we had to do was wait for our friends to break the window open. Sometimes in these games, when you open lockers, there's zombies in them. You gotta be careful. Okay, we were just in there. That's that way. And then... Oh, did they open this door? They must have opened it on their own. Okay.
Could use your help. Come on, Mrs. Crowbar, you got this. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, weapon upgrade. All right, here we go with this bullshit. All right, lost in the dark, shed some light on your situation. Nyah, 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 nyah. That's a cue for you, Moira. You gotta follow these footprints to know where to go, because if you don't follow the footprints, you will die. Oh, shit. I really don't think we should go any further. Right. No sudden moves. Let's back up and think this through. No, it's cool. I got it. Just gonna follow these footprints exactly. Uh-oh. Exactly as they are. I got scared for a minute because I lost the footprints. Oh god. Come on, I didn't deviate from the path. That's exactly what the thing where it pointed to was at. Fuck. Oh god, this part gives me anxiety. I know exactly what I'm doing, but they can also suck a butt. I don't understand where I should be stepping from here. This doesn't feel right. I feel like I'm gonna get shot again. But I don't see footprints anywhere else. I don't see anywhere else it could be. See? What the fucking goddamn fucking shit? Ugh. Okay, so apparently I just had to walk back in order to keep going. I was just skipping one crucial step. Excuse me. Oh god, I did it. Holy shit. Could it only took three tries. Yeah, we can use that to get the actual the eyeball that we need out of the spike room to do the retina scanner thing. And then we can use that to get into a room here to move on and, and then we can get into a different room somewhere else. You know how it goes, Resident Evil shit. Alright. Moira, since you're the one that grabbed it, you can go ahead and be the one to do this. Easy enough. This might work back at that retinal scanner. That's I don't know the why idea. That makes sense, but somehow it does. Because it's an eyeball. Oh, shit. Hey, you shouldn't pay attention to behind you. Damn it. Sometimes these games are accidentally comedy. Sometimes they're intentionally comedy. Sometimes they're accidentally horror. Sometimes they're intentionally horror. Ooh, okay. 
I know she's not gonna pick it up. Magnum, though. Oh, uh, do I really need two shotguns? I don't think I do. I think I'll switch it for one of those. I don't lose it, though. It's not like I'm leaving it behind. It just gets sent to the workbench. In my, um... Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh, no, the game glitched and switched out my pistol instead, even though I chose to switch out for the shotgun. God damn it. Now I need to find a workbench and fix that. Hey, buddy, you alive? Moira, look. Inside that corpse. Is that what I think it is? Oh, what's the liver rip up that we need for the statue? What's this supposed to be? Looks like some kind of body part. There's a map here, too. It's a part of a part. It's just what we need to under the connect to the tower. Move but on to the next area. Was blocking the way in. You know, the gods punished Prometheus by sending an eagle to eat his liver. So, ah, now I know what this is supposed to be. Okay. So, now that we have everything we need from this area, we can leave. Nope, we're leaving. Bye. Oh, here's that workbench. Okay, see, the gun is here. Even though we left it on the ground, it's still here. Focus. Parts for shotguns to focus the spread, causing greater concentrated damage. Cool. Neil, where are you? Neil! Neil! Oh, Neil! Alright, let's go put this part in here to free up our inventory. I think we're half a liver short. No shit. Then let's find it. That's why we're going this way now. Da 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 Ugh, it smells like cow shit. <laughs> yeah. They must have kept animals in here. Hey now. Cow shit is a rare delicacy in some southern states. <clears throat> My factory is ruined! Ruined! And it's all thanks to her! What the hell is the meaning of all those traps she said? She says security. I've never seen security like that. What the hell is secure about any of this? She's got some twisted ideas in her head. It must be her parents' fault. Who knows what kind of horrible abuse they subjugated her to. Subjected? Subjugated? Subjected? Which one is right? And I put, ah, who gives a shit? I gotta watch my temper. I went too far, started yelling at her. She showed me, though. She ran on her promise, and now she's running the show. I don't want to piss her off anymore, so I keep my mouth shut. I know my place, and that place is staying alive. After all, all I have left is my life. <sighs> hey! Oh, it's so nice of you to wait for me to finish the game. Man, uh, Moira's backstory involving guns and why she doesn't like them is... Something. But it's pretty good character development that they throw in there that, like, any time, like, Claire fires her gun close by her or whatever, Moira, like, flinches. Okay, just making sure there's nothing else to all this. Just different paths to the same destination. It's a butchery for killing livestock. How many frickin' filet mignons do you have to make to produce this kind of blood? Enough to make it look like a scene from a horror game. You know how it is. Moira, 
I'm gonna need you to hold this ammo for weapons that you don't use because I'm gonna need it later. Thank you. Something's coming. Something's coming. Is it a mini boss? Ooh, that's a big guy. Oh, it's one of the big. We fought. We fought something like this before. This is no big deal. It wasn't in this confined of a space, though. This one died a lot easier. Probably because he exploded himself. He helped me. He helped me. Oh, uh, Moira. This is all you, kid. Oh, Jesus, three? This better be good. Ah, fuck. Oh, that was close. Hey, hey, Claire, you got more room in your inventory now. Look at that. Yay, inventory. Okay. Speaking of which. Alright, all good. Half of this shit I don't actually need. I'll never use it. Slaughterhouse key. We need the slaughterhouse key! Slaughterhouse key. That would be a great name for a metal band. Alrighty, Rooney. Oh. This is you, Moira. This is all you. Sure, why not? Oh, look, a room full of zippy boppers. Why not? Alright, fuck you two then. This just smells like disaster. If I remember correctly, they'll just end up breaking each other, right? Oh no, that's not at all what happened. Shit. Well, fuck. Oh, I remember what I'm supposed to do now. Little, too little too late, but oh well. Yep, too little too late. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, I think they're far away enough now that we can safely do this. I'll take care of this. Hang tight! We don't have time for that thing. Problem is, that's our one and only chance to get it, I think. Because we can't get back in here now. Can we? Do they move again? Oh, okay, they're stopped. Okay, yeah, so we do get another chance. Right? Can she get back up there? Oh, come on, that's horseshit. They really expect you to be able to do that in that short amount of time? Open that thing? There's no way in hell. There's no way. Well, that's some horseshit. Oh, well. 
It is what it is, I guess. Whatever was in that box, there's no way in fuck we were getting it. I, I can't move that fast. That's not... I, it's not happening. <laughs> You gotta have, like, perfect timing for that. There's just no way. Oh, good. More of this. Whatever this is. I see something in the tank. I see something up here, too. Hi, uh, yeah, it's a BP! Okay. What can we do about it? We gotta get this. We gotta get this wagon rolling, don't we? We gotta get this bad boy a moving. Boy, that machine pistol, we're just filling up. Probably for good use. I'll take it. Hmm. Okay. I gotta drop something in there, right? Ooh, Moira, this is you. At least we can open this one. The easiness of this one leads me to believe it's nothing huge. Oh, it is a parts box. Okay. I wonder why that other one they had to make so difficult to get. I wonder what was in it that it would be that hard. Probably not a good... Oh, I know when my indicator of stopping is. I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. Oh, there it goes. We have to add more blood? Man, that lady is sick. No, Claire, why don't you just stay in there? It would be a lot easier. Quite enough yet. All right, right on the money again. Oh come on, that was there. Now you're just gonna whatever. It's just gonna glitch. It's just gonna glitch. It's just gonna sit there. It would be funny if they both fell in. Yep, here they come. Alright, we're not done yet. We need to do one more. Yeah, I see it. I'm not blind. It's the other part of the liver. Now we can leave this area.
Oh shit, there's a lot of fat guys. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I made those big blobby dudes all explode in the domino effect on the stairs. Alright, let's talk more run. Hey up. Hey up. Ah! Alright, we made it. Let's go. Ooh, empty bottle. Okay, now let's go. Ooh, okay. We did ourselves a beautiful flavor right there. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's put the liver in old boy right here. Okay, this should do it. His eyes start bleeding and then he explodes. And we all had a blast. Come on. Ha. Yeah. Well, at least I knew it was coming and didn't manage to get blown up by it. Moira, on the other hand, curiosity killed the cat, you know what I'm saying? I need your shiny finding expertise. Okay. Claire, this is your choice to switch. Do you want to switch your handgun? I think that's a yes. It wouldn't be giving it to me right now if it wasn't somehow a little bit better than the one I had. This late game handgun. Here we go again. Always being... Okay, well, I guess we should probably run. Says this place is coming down. Run for your lives before you get smushed. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, this part's time. That's a Resident what Evil thing. Here? What did you do with Neil? The god Skyfold has served its purpose. No Promethean fire will devour everything. I knew this was a trap. Claire, run! Nope, nope, you got this. Alright, you figured this part out. It's a multi-level fire trap thing. It's kind of like that uh, that part in Saw 7? 6 or 7? One of the two. I can't fucking remember which one. One of the traps in one of the Saws. One of the later ones. Multi-surface fire trap where they have to work together. Multi-level thing. You think this ladder would be way too hot to touch with your bare hands at this moment? These pipes, too. Like, there's no way you're touching these with all this fire around. They gotta be heated up to the holy hell. Oh, no! <laughs> gotta put this right here. There we are. Okay. All right, Claire, your turn once again. Oh, shit. Okay. I 
think the timer is actually pretty generous. We'll be okay, don't worry. To move forward with no knowledge is to risk your life. Choose with the proper knowledge, however the answer may not lie before you. Oh, this shit, right. Oh, I can't remember which of these I'm supposed to fuck with. Oh, I see. Okay, so these three doors lead to death, and this one leads to being saved. Got it. Okay, so this is the door we want. Revelations 2 has got that like mix between action and horror. Let's just get out of here. Claire, this is it. The waterway that goes to the tower. The overseer's been watching us every step of the way. But if she thinks we died in that explosion, we gain the element of surprise. Maybe. We're so close, Moira. I can feel it. There's a, here's the thing, though, right? So, like, this game has two endings, and only one of those endings is canonical. No. I should have listened to you. Neil didn't write that message. He couldn't have. This game has two endings, and only one ending is canonical. Oh, shit. Who are you? What do you want? And, Put it um, down. Fuck. Real it quick, turned? I'm gonna pause it so I can say what I'm saying. Uh, there's a choice we'll have to make during a boss battle in this chapter that will determine if we get the good ending or the bad ending. But the good ending is the canonical one, so that's the one that we're gonna get. And I'll point it out when the time comes, the choice that we have to make. Save? I not know this thing you are speaking. No bracelet. Why don't you have a bracelet? Do I look like a woman to you? Holy shit, old man. You don't know what's going on? You've got to get out of here before it's too late. <laughs> Never. I stay my home. Now go away. You people come to our beautiful island and take everything away. Whatever bad things happening now, do not ask me help. All right, every Resident Evil game has to have a crazy old guy living in the middle of the spooky shit, too. Capacity level three. Capacity... oh, for ammo. Stupid dinosaur. I'm so sick of men like him. You mean men like Barry. You say, hey, let's turn left, and he goes right, just so he can feel like he knows better. Yeah. My big brother was like that growing up, too. I fuck up that one time, and... <sighs> I didn't need his help to feel bad. I just realized I should probably put that on this instead. There we go, that's nice. Five bullets. And a map of the sewers! And another staple of not just Resident Evil, but horror games in general is frickin' sewers levels. Always with the damn sewers levels. Always with the sewers levels. Never not with the sewers levels, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is you, Moira. Fucking hell. Right until the very end, huh? Really? Again? You're a shit. Okay, there we are.
Alright, gotta keep going through the water, waiting for something to jump out at me. Gotta keep going through the water, waiting for things to get spooky. Why am I in here? Oh. Oh. I'm not sure if I've done this before. I think this might be a secret. I'm very confused. What was the point in that? Okay. Maybe that wasn't a room for secrets. Maybe I had to do that. I don't remember, to be honest with you. But I'm very confused now. That much is for certain. Okay, where is the fucking monster already? Ah, oh, come on. I need a bot. Oh, I see. Moira, uppy, uppy, uppy. box. That's got to be good. Okay. Oh, shit. I forgot. There's one more thing up here that we need. There we go. Wait, I can't... I can't put it in the water? That doesn't make a lot of sense, unless it's just not enough room over there. Can I do it over here? Oh, wait, can I grab it off of here from in the water? No? What a load of horse piss. Well, that doesn't make a lot of damn sense now, does it? How the fuck am I supposed to get that shit? Is there like a raft or something? Hey, big fella. I don't think the bottles work in the water. I forgot that Moira's light can make the big ones explode. Oh, you know what? I think I think we need to get rid of the water. All of the water in here in order to use that box. I think that's part of what that is. And we only got rid of some of the water. Ah, that's what these secret climbing areas are for. Area, okay. We didn't quite get rid of the water, but we did lower it more, I want to say. Does it look like it went down to you? Kinda.
Well, I don't know where the other wheel I need to turn is, but it's not here, not now, so... Forward we go, then. waste a bunch of time trying to figure out shit so it's going to take forever to figure out. These episodes are already long enough as it is. We'll just do what we can and then move forward with the story. Forget the extra stuff. If I miss something, I miss something. It is what it is. Jumping out the water at me now that I already killed you once. Although I was fully expecting something to jump out of the water at some point. Are those what I think they are? Yep. Oh, no, multiple of them. I see them coming out of the water, like little sharky boys. You can't get me when I go this way! Oh wait, you probably can. You'll just jump off the edge, won't ya? Come on, Moira, let's not waste our ammo on these dumb bitches. slow. Did I finish draining the water? No, that didn't do it. I actually need to go somewhere in here. I don't know why I went back. That was dumb. I guess we're done with that. Okay, so I was supposed to go across this bridge here. Excuse me, my dude, I'm gonna crawl over your body. I thought maybe I made a difference closing that sluice, but no. I'm not gonna keep retracing my steps every time I close something to see if it made a difference. It is what it is at this point. There's gotta be something in the water or something somewhere, otherwise this wouldn't be making creepy music. What's with the footprints? Oh, are those Natalia's? I think those blue footprints belong to Natalia. They kind of like, mo only Moira can see them with the flashlight, but they're kind of like her helping them see which way to go, in a sense. Do I really have to shoot that? It's like right there. Yeah, whatever. Okay. 
And this would probably be a good spot to see one of those, like, blue things, medallions that you're supposed to shoot, which I haven't seen any in this chapter, by the way. I've just been running through everything so fast. The fuck was that? Somebody's not happy, I can tell you that much. Alright. See, they did the pop out of the water at you thing in Resident Evil Village, so I'm fully expecting it. Ha! Dumbasses. I was up here the whole time. You're too late. Here, Moira. Use the splatter. Anybody else want to try to use the ladder? I'll accept your resignation. Oh. Look at this, I don't even have to touch the water. Y'all just dumb. Oh no, I fell in the water. I thought I was I thought I was far away, but. Okay. Shitheads. I'm not playing your game, Sonny Jims. I'm climbing up top like a smart boy. Fucking hell, that one breaks. Alright, well, I guess we killed everything. Should be a lot easier to get across now. Okay, here we go. Progress! <sighs> Alright, cool. We got two firebomb bottles and one exploding bottle. That's how I like it. But we're not done yet, no sorry, Boba Fett. Oh, this place feels like a cemetery. Dark and you spooky. You must have reached the tower by now, right? I think so. What's this? It looks like a grave. I guess I was the right. The tower's just above us. It is a I cemetery. I hope we can still get the drop on her. Let's look for a way up. Moira, perhaps your flashlight will show something interesting because these graves seem to be interactable for whatever reason. I think this is a puzzle. A eulogy for my brethren. We followed Master Alex to this island of Zabishalakadikutikiksnahukinrath, which she has codenamed Number 46. Our efforts have brought prosperity to the island, but more than that, we have come to help the Master achieve our goal of rebirth. You have performed splendidly in your tasks, even in your final task to provide the Master with valuable data at the cost of your own lives. We are bonded in our servitude to the Master. I consider you my colleagues and my friends. 
I will help the master to finish the work, which we have all started. I promise that your sacrifices will not be in vain. May you rest in peace. Oh, well, thank you. But I don't understand why these are all interactable. I'll hand it over to you in a moment, Claire. If you wish to know the truth, swear your allegiance in order. Only then can you cast away your shackles of sin. To the first, you were always foolish, so you will have no grave. To the second, you shall bear your visage upon your back. To the third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. To the fourth, you shall lose your head. Okay, so... So the first one has no grave. The second one bears the, vi bears the visage on the back. The third one is the f neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. And the fourth one lost their head. Okay, I think I know what that means. So the first one has no grave. So that's this one. The second one bears its visage on its back. So it's got to be one where the, the stuff is on the back of it instead of the front. Oh, the fourth one lost its head. It said the third one neighbors the fourth by three, but one row down. So that's one, two, three. So that's be the, this has got to be the third one here. But we got to find the one which has got stuff on its back for number two. Aha, this is the one. All right. Neighbors the one, fourth one by three, but one row down. So I'm hoping it's this one. Nope, god damn it. This one. That's the third one. Neighbors the fourth by three, but one row down. They meant down this way. And then the fourth one lost their head. Ooh. Alright, so what did I... Oh, I... Opened the way to a fucking assault rifle. Yeah, I'll take that. Nope, give me that. Yeah, okay. So this would that one this is an extra puzzle, completely out of the way, like completely optional, but I would say it was worth it. All right. No, stop swapping. I'm trying to reload, damn it. Okay. Wait, where's the machine pistol ammo? That's what this is, right? Why isn't she able to hold any more of that? Oh, I see. Okay, that's better. I think that should be... Yeah, that's probably better. For now. Okay, so that was a nice little optional puzzle that we got out of the way and got a nice new weapon out of it. Now let's move forward with the story. Moira? Ah, shit. Of course. Okay. Got what we need out of that. Up the stairs. This is a tower, so it's gonna be a lot of stairs. Oh, never mind. Here's the door. I am expecting enemies, though. Oh, is this the boss fight area? Oh yeah, I think we're close to the end of Claire and Moira's chapter then.
Ooh, that doesn't look too good. Master Alex, it has truly been an honor and a blessing to have served under you these past few decades. I consider myself lucky to have been witness to your scientific genius and your vision of the truth. The world does not need order, and I believe it is you, and only you, who is capable of accomplishing this feat. The world does need order. Sorry, that's what I I, as well as the other researchers, are all bonded together in this belief. To ensure your survival, we have worked tirelessly to complete the transfer procedure. The vessel we have selected is without fault. I have every confidence that the procedure will go flawlessly. To come this far, we've had to make countless sacrifices. My faith in your vision is resolute, so I prepared myself to shoulder the mental and emotional burdens of the sins that I would be committing. But I do believe that before your plan can succeed, we must first atone for our sins. So I have taken the necessary steps for atonement. The remaining researchers have all been dealt with, and I too shall soon follow. This will also help you to perform the procedure without any distractions. On behalf of those who have served faithfully by your side, we are grateful for the opportunity to help you accomplish your ambitions. Eternally, your loyal servant, Stuart. Oh, well, thank you, Stewie boy. Um, let's see, we got another option to switch out our shotgun here. Now nah, I think I'll stick with the one I have, thank you. We'll take that red herb, though. Rest in pepperonis, old dude. Excuse me. Okay. Where's my boss fight? I know it's coming. This is the boss fight where we have to make the important choice. Pokemon Ruby! Okay. Well, we'll save that. Well, at least we know where it's at. Still no sign of your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Alright. Shit. Look. There's something I gotta tell you. I noticed something when Neil was with us. His bracelet never changed color. I mean... The living dead were coming at us from all directions. He must have been scared. No. No, no. There's no way. Got it? End of discussion. Oh, there is a way, Claire. Who do you think the boss battle is that we're about to have? Don't be naive, Claire. You've seen this too many times already. You've been through two games before this one. You know what happens. I know you don't want to accept it, but you have to. It is what it is. Okay, uh, before we get moving, let's see. My fellow visionaries, the time has finally come. Everything has gone as I said it would. All that remains is for her to hold up her end of the bargain, and then I can finish what we started seven years ago. Just one little sample is all I need to change the world, but the world is already changing, and not in a good way. The latest incident in Africa is just proof. This kind of madness will keep repeating itself until nothing is left but tragedy and despair. The world needs someone to take charge and lead it through these dark times. Lansdale was right, of course. What he tried to do in Terragrigia, people call him a villain. But he's a hero! He was trying to save us! I understood that, as do you. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to realize his vision. He was the only one to see that sacrifices were needed and that something good can be built on them, even if it means dealing with the devil herself to do it. Yeah, whatever. Not good. Definitely not good. Um... Let's see, is there anything else I can come? Oh! Jesus, okay. Um, okay, so easy hit. Let's see, handgun. Expand the bullet hit zone. Do that, that one. Burst. Fire two bullets at once. Nah, I don't know, okay. Ammo capacity, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I think I can live with that. Do I like burst on a pistol? 
Why not? We'll take it. Works for me. Okay, so I think as soon as I interact with these screens, it'll initiate the, the cutscene that leads us to our next boss battle. Alright. Here we go. This list. Neil had it at the party. Barton, Chavez, Redfield. It's got all our names on it. <sighs> he sold Tara safe out. <sighs> Claire, I'm really sorry. Oh, hey, Neil, you look. backstabbing son of a bitch. Like that piano music? All right, I've isolated the best candy. Good work. Now it's your turn to fulfill your end of. What did you? Oopsie doopsie. Oh, you wanted an Uroboros sample. Now you've got it. You Black dog. <laughs> you know shit about me. I know you were Lansdale's puppet. When Veltro incited the Terra Grigia panic seven years ago, the FBC was pulling the strings. The old man went down, but he was smart enough to pass the torch before he did. You played me. Because you're an idiot. You thought you could create a new terrorist threat to justify the FBC. A monster like you could never understand. And thus, Neil become monster. Claire? Are you crying? No. I'm... I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. At least I will after I wipe the tears out of my eyes. Anyway... Now we have to go fight. This will not be a happy reunion, I can tell you that much. You know it's serious business when they switch over to the pre-rendered cutscenes. Neil? Neil! I did what I thought was right. It wasn't. Clearly. Now you shall pay for your transgressions, Neil. Get away from me! There's no bringing the FBC back. I failed Lancel. Oopsie. Bad for you. Ouroboros, it's not death. It's power. Ah, uh, he hulked out. Looks like torture to me. You can't change back, unlike the Hulk. You are permanently this creature now. A B.O.W. Like the Tyrant, or Nemesis. Or Jack Baker. Oh, well, that was after this. But you know. Jesus, scream about it, why don't you? Holy shit. Up up! Up up! Up up! Up up! Okay, I'm gonna I run. I trusted you! Terrace was the to save you!
the glowy orange bits. Ah, fuck. Not a good time to run out of ammo there. Oh, that's a big arm. The bluey doofendock. Here, I can help with that. Ooh, magnum time, maybe? Oh, that's gotta suck. Ooh, right in the squishy bits. Uh-oh. Oh, that hurt. Okay, here we go. Gamma! Hey, 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 I hit the dodge button. I hit the dodge button. Don't be playing that shit with me. Alright. I need that machine pistol ammo that I remember being over here. I couldn't hold it before. But now... Oh, fucking hell! He's right on my butt! Excuse me, sir, that is sexual harassment. I'm gonna have to speak to your manager. Where did he go? Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh, he grabbed me. Oh, God. That almost turned into the adult anime. You know, the H word. I don't want to say it out loud for fear of YouTube's algorithms coming at me. Like a frickin' soul-sucking Dementor. Get him! Ah, uh, piss biscuits. <laughs> Will you call the fuck down Jiminy Christmas titties? Hold on, I have something for you. Watch. The FBC needs to let me be. Thank you, there, I have ammo for you. Oh my god, why won't he die? Oh, I'm not gonna fuck with that. Jesus, my dude. There we go. Holy shit. That took I forever. just want this to be over. Well, it's over now, I think. Anyways, time to hit the elevator. You may be wondering about that choice I was telling you about. Oh, don't worry, it's still coming. You think we're gonna get away from this all easy peasy lemon squeezy? We have her now. Yes, we think we do anyway. But the baby. Oh! What's that now? Like I said. Surprise, motherfuckers! I'm not sure if I would call that a hand anymore at this point, but sure, we get the sentiment that it is. <laughs> Fucking taters. At least he broke our fall. Moira, on the other hand, not so lucky. What the hell did she land on? Thanks. I think. Okay. And you stand? It's time to make a choice. It's time to make a decision. No! Alright, so Moira hates guns because of no. trauma from her past. Where did we go wrong? 
So Moira has to be the one to grab the gun here, not Claire. If you want the good ending, it has to be Moira who grabs the gun. If Moira uses the gun here, you get the good ending. Oh, don't want to kill, don't fall! Moira, you... You did it. And the good ending is the canonical <laughs> ending, so that's the one we want to go with, obviously. All right, like so we made again. sure that we made the right choice. That was important. I if, have what I need. If Claire had been the one to use the gun, that would lead to the bad ending. We don't want that. Nothing will come between us now, my sweet. You and I will be good friends. We'll know each other inside. That's, of course, Alex has Natalia, and she's going to use her for experimentation and other evil debauchery. Anyways, this is the intermission part of the episode. If you'd like to use this uh, as an excuse to pause and go get yourself some refreshments, and uh, or use the bathroom, or anything like that before continuing, now is the absolute pristine and absolute time to do so. Because once we continue, we'll be doing Barry's, episode, Barry's part of this episode. And of course, as you can see, the sections are timestamped and separated in the video so that you can keep track more easily. So, okay, we're good for now. Are you back? Are you ready to go? Are we all, are we all set are, for Barry's part of the episode? Because we're going to start. We're going to keep going. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Badunga. Remember, this is in the pet this is in the future after the Claire and Moira part of the story. <laughs> so it's after Natalia was experimented on by Alex. And clearly Alex has had a change of looks. She's more of a monster than a human now. Something you may be wondering Alex. what happened between then and now to cause this change? <laughs> well, that'll be revealed later. Alex Wesker. <laughs> the one and the only. It can't be the same woman. It is. Where's Moira? You what have you lot. done with her? And the rest of them beneath a mountain of fear and despair. Uh, you think that's what you did, yeah. lady? You killed her.
I suppose I'll have to carry you for a while, which makes my ability to shoot things not as good. <gasps> it's pistols only from here on out. Alright. It was Alex Wesker. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. They called her the Overseer. She took Moira away from me. And now I'll never get... And all for fucking what? I'm sorry. Recognize it's this okay. area? She said she was going to be reborn. Reborn how? With a virus? Why did she need my little girl? It doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I can't... Remember anything else? <laughs> this is the area that we oh, just sweetie, went through. I'm sorry. Um, it's my problem, not yours. Just take it easy. This is the area that we just went through as uh, Claire and Moira, except now there's absolutely no water. It's the water's all gone. Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking about how I used to go for walks like this with Moira and Polly. Were you a good family? <laughs> we tried to be. Moira and I fought a lot. Even after she grew up. Was it because she used bad words? <laughs> no. She just did that to take me off. I'm the one that drove us apart. I messed up real bad as a father. She and Polly were playing in the house. I forgot to lock up my guns. And Moira... Sh <sighs> Polly had an accident. Was it Moira's fault? No. It was mine. But I raised my voice at her, and I guess I never really got around to taking the blame. Polly survived, thank God. But now me and Moira, we started drifting apart. I think she still loved you. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. I will tell you this much. I couldn't save her, but I'm gonna save you. I promise I'll get you off this island. I know. Thanks, Barry. Don't you worry, Barry. Moira's okay. still alive, I, I think. Or at least she will right, be because right. we made the right Down choice. Good, because the fact that you can walk now means that we'll probably have to fight things. Do I have my flashlight? Is there a flashlight here? There we go. Up we go. Na 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 dee da 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 whoa whoa whoa. Oh, that sounds like something that needs fighting. How are we gonna get back to the surface? We're literally just taking the same path that they did, but in the future and backwards. We're like retracing their steps. But, yeah. Oh, hi. These might be the ones that we ran away from and left alive. Come back to, uh... Cause problems for someone else later on. They definitely looked a lot more decayed than the ones that we faced. As if they were in the water for a while! Yeah, da, 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 dee, dee, do. Did not see that coming! Hold on, gentlemen. Uh. Okay. We're not any safer down here. You okay? Yeah, are you? Yeah, I'm fine. I got bit on the neck, but I won't turn or nothing. I'm one, I'm a protagonist. I'm invincible. It's called plot armor, okay? Deal with it. That's all you, little Natalie. Oh, okay. Okay. Baboomba! What's that? Ooh, assault rifle ammo case. And look! A thing! 
Wow, one of 11 in this chapter. And I found none of them in Claire and Moira's part. These are all the things that we, all the pipes that we turned and shit. You think turning those pipes in their story has an effect on, of, on things in this one? Probably does. I think that might have been the point. Okay, I think they're down for the count. These bugs, on the other hand. Okay. So remember before how I was like, fuck, I can't get the- Ah, you sh shit biscuit. Wow, there are a lot of those little bugs. Gotta be honest, kinda miss having a shotgun. Alright. Ah. I was worried, so I was worried before about getting this cage across to the other side so I could get what's in there. Come to find out that that's not for Claire and Moira, it's for Barry when the water, when you come back here and there's no water. But you have to get the cage down when playing as Claire and Moira in order to be able to use it as Barry and Natalia. That's the important part. Not like these items are exclusive to these two, but truly I think that's the only way you can get them is when you're playing as Barry. But getting those items as Barry requires making a certain step as Claire. Well, that's just a brick. You can have it if you want, Natalia. Not dealing with it. Ooh, what's this? A replacement for my rifle? Assault rifle replacement. Why not? We'll give it a shot. <laughs> Get it? Shot? Because <laughs> it's a gun? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh no! At least you know which way to point. I'm just sitting here wasting ammo. He's like, no, you stupid, dumb motherfucker. More to the left. More to the left, dumbass. Hey, you you in here, old guy? Ooh, he looks kind of dead, maybe. This door is open. Why is the door open? This door shouldn't be open. Old man Jenkins didn't survive. Yeah. Leave him be. Leave him be. He could turn. Poor man. He died all alone. That's how he preferred it. Trust me. He was an ass to us before. That's Moira's phone. There was a point in time Wait. here. This is Moira's. Okay, so I feel like I should pause and explain this real quick. So you might be like, why is Moira's phone with the old man? Did he tell them to get lost? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so like, there's a point in time during the story where Claire and Moira get separated. I think it takes place in the next chapter. During that point, Moira is surviving on her own for a while with the help of the old man down here. That is how he ends up with her phone. Um, they like reconvene at some point, but it's kind of like that uh, part in The Last of Us where Ellie and Joel get split up for a while and then like there's a DLC that covers what happens. Same case here. There's a DLC here called The Struggle where you play as Moira during that time where she's surviving in the sewers with the help of the old man. And we will cover that after doing the main story. Anyways. Okay. No, you're not the bad one. Barry. I'm here. Let's go. 
We're gonna do something about I'm old gonna man McGee. Wreck this island for what it did to her. Yeah, let's just blow the whole place up. Fuck everything. Mm, our inventory's full. Perhaps we should combine some stuff with some things and do some shit. And we got a workbench. The firing rate. Ooh. That'll be better for something like that, I think. Let's get out of here first. Stay close, okay? I will. I'm gonna have you grab some of these things because my inventory's full. All right. Let's see here. Combine with alcohol for flame and young. Okay. Nothing else to do there. Let's read. The old man's journal. I need my practice. I need practice my English, so I write in this journal on every day. Every day I write, but I have but have no words. Now I have good reason. Today I welcome first child to the world. Her mother give her the name Irina. It was my grandmother's name. I object, but I cannot win against stubborn woman. She has eyes and nose of her father, but mouth of her mother. We will raise her to be healthy, strong girl. This year, islanders have good spirits again. Mining business good w goes well. My life is pretty good for me now. I want to give Irina same feeling when she is older. It's my responsibility now as parent. Irina, already six years old. How flies time. She loves to imitate her mother. Her mother hates it, probably because imitation is perfect. Like, Kroshka is very smart. She likes math. Her grandmother liked math too. Irina's smile helps to take mind off worries. These minds have become dangerous and now they make no money. Island condition is worster and worster. I might have Lou's job too, but this is no time for a worry. This island is our home. I want to give to little Kroshka in good condition. It's my responsibility now as parent. Irina, now 12 years old, already rebellious. More like her mother every day. I don't understand women. Now I am embarrassed to her, until she needs money or a request. Speaking of women and money, a woman comes to our island. She promises to bring back industry. I have job now to help build new facility in the mine. I thought mine was finished, but she has a use for it. She is loved by all. They call her savior, our benefactor. My mother always said never trust people with money. The poor worker is more reliable than rich capitalist. It's good advice, but the rich woman is helping us. It is Irina's 20 years birthday. I should be celebrating, but I'm worried. Next week she will go to work in mines. I was against it, but Kroshka will not listen to me. Has not listened for years. Why start now? Irina is stubborn, just like her father, she used to always say. I guess she was right. Has it already been a year since you left us, my darling? I don't trust the people in the facility, there's something wrong about them, but everyone else thinks me stubborn, old man. Maybe now Irina too. But I know I'm right, I just hope Irina will realize this too soon. I have not seen Irina in almost one year. Something bad is happening to our home. People become sick, more things I cannot explain. I know it's all because of that woman. She smells of evil. This was to become Irina's home, but too late now. I leave this town. Everything. But island is my home. I will not leave. No place to go. So I go to sewers. I stay here. Things will get worse. I know it. Irina, be safe. I will find you. I promise, Kroshka. You are all your father have left. Oh, this poor old guy. He seemed like a genuinely good guy until things went to shit around here. But I take it we can't get out. Oh, that's right. Okay, so it collapsed. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Hence the need for the key. It all makes sense, does it not? Da-dee-da, dodge, bobble, doff, and do, fur, ya, ba 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 shmeeble, doff, and do. All right, now this is, I remember this part distinctly for some reason. We have to open the sluice gates. I think I remember this part because it was like the first, when I first played this, it was the first time I heard the word sluice and that just really stuck with me. I was like, ooh, sluice. That's a word that exists, sluice. I like that, sluice. A dead end. 
Looks like we can open the sluice from higher up. That there it is, sluice. That's what they call this fucking gate right here that blocks the water. It's a sluice. Okay, I'll stop. With, I'll stop. With it. Anyways, though, I can't remember how the fuck to get over there. I gotta climb or something somehow. I think Natalia has to like squeeze. Oh, that's right. Tiny girl has to squeeze under the freaking shit. Now, I do think I have Barry and Claire both set to shoot things on their own when they are AI, and it doesn't waste ammo in the process, so that's... Barry! Kind of there's a hole! We got this. Natalia's way more useful than Ashley was from 4. I can tell you that much right now. Natalia, can you open the sluice from that side? Okay, hang on! I'm gonna grab this map while I'm over here, too. It seems like it's useful. Alright, we got this. Not struggling at all. This shit's probably old as hell, rusted to fuck. And she's, like, a pint and a half at best. But, nope, just turning this like a boss. Good work, Natalia. Keep it up. Yeah, boy. I'll just keep sluicing. <laughs> Your sluice is cooked. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Oh, Barrington. The Barrington Hotel. I need your help right now, Sunny Jimbo. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> Alright, that's better. AI my ass. Using the magic of editing to fast forward through boring shit. Uh, you can tell this game was designed for two players because sometimes it really sucks ass controlling both characters on your own because the other one is not smart enough to do what they're supposed to do. Either they don't follow you when you want them to in moments like this, or in moments where you want them to stay the fuck still because you need them to be where they are for things to work out right in those moments and then they just that's when they decide to fucking follow you Barry shoot this thing in my way all right see I can't get by all right you got it now kid all right, Barry, you're smart enough Natalia, to shoot on your own, right? The Got it. He switched weapons on his own, so he should be shooting. What a fucking idiot! All right. I could have swore I turned on the. I bought the skill that makes it so Claire and Barry shoot things on their own when they're AI controlled, but apparently not. Maybe it was just for Claire. Hello, doggy wolf creature.
Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, we can move forward even further with little Natalia. To the next area of spectacle. Alright, hopefully that wasn't too much. Ooh, hello. Shiny. Pass that magnum ammo on to him when we get there. Yeah, we knew he was gonna come to life. That's why we bit that shit in the ass before he even got there. Okay, this is her path to take. More shiny. Really though, even though I know this game had a great, like, you know, it was like, oh, let's do the, the co-op two-player thing because... Because that's what we did in, uh, five and six, and that worked out great. I'm like, yeah, that's cool and all, but... In 5 and 6, both of the characters were that you play as were on an even level for the most part. In this game, it's like whoever gets to be player 2 is someone that obviously you hate. Natalia, the smoke! We needed that smoke screen to be able to tell where to go. Or where the bug was. Since Natalia wasn't right here. Why can I not hold rifle ammo? Uh, too much of everything else. There we go. Now I can pick it up. Oh, the moment I open that sluice, something's gonna come running through all angry and shit. There's an angry guy right here. I thought we took care of him, but I guess not. We'll have to take care of him before letting her move on. Natalia, see if you can get this open. It is open, jackass. Shut up. Alright. Now she needs to be able to get down. And then we're good to go. She has to be able to get down because there's a treasure chest down there for her to open. Alright, that'll be useful for later, I guess. Doop, doop, down the ladder. shiny. Can't miss that BP. That sweet, sweet BP gets us our skills, baby. Okay. Oh, this can't be good. Oh, boy. Oh, now you want to start shooting. Barry, you got this, right? I don't actually see that fucking bug. I don't 
understand the AI. So he was fine shooting from a distance when they were behind the gate, but now that they're right in front of him, he's suddenly no, stupid. I'm a sluice master. Be careful. There! Shoot! <laughs> There it is. It's getting closer. Oh, there's another one? There it is. Oh, there's more. Got you. Alright, Natalia, time to do your thing with the the treasure chest. Ooh! Yes, definitely worth it. Barry has more inventory space now. That's gotta be one of the most exciting items to obtain in any Resident Evil game, is an expansion bag for your inventory slots. Truly, truly one of the greatest things ever. We're in a new area. Got another brick here for you, Natalia. How would you like to have a have a hold of that? And then, yep, yeah, there. Okay. You take that. We go. Come on. Jump down here. Not a problemo, Natalia. Wally, Bally, Schmaller. Not a problemo. All right. I jump, and then you jump. Surely, if. This big, full-grown, well-built, strong guy can do it, then surely this tiny little kid can do it, too. Um... Aha! We're out of the money. See, I almost ran face-first into that, and that would have been a problem for everybody. Which way am I supposed to go here? Okay. Never mind. I see. Blue dot means destination. So hopefully there's something a little extra over here. Ah, there is. Some BP. I will take it! Oh, yes, we did need to come over here, after all. Well, we didn't need to, but it's good that we did, is what I'm saying. Oh, that was quick. More ammo for your rifle, my dude. Except we don't have a lot of rifle ammo right now, so... Alright, so it is good we came over here. That bugaboo was guarding something. Upgrades. Upgrades are always good. Alright, here we go. Into the portal. Okay, we're out. Now to pick up Wesker's trail. Right. We're coming after you, Alexa Wesker. You know, you don't have to come with me for this. I'm staying with you. I want to know the truth as much as you do. Woo! Look at this! big old factory area. It's like a whole level in and of itself. I'm starting to realize now, though, that Resident Evil games tend to hit a lot of the same beats in terms of Once locations, upon a don't time, they? This must have been some kind of mine. Right, there's usually, like, it's usually, like, a village or a house or something, but, like, in the games where you visit multiple locations within the areas, there's always a sewers area Harry, and a factory I area. I I think that woman used to be down there somewhere. Okay. Let's head down and look for a way across. Resident Evil Village had a factory area. Not our... It didn't really have a sewers area, to the be fair. The sack is gonna pay for what she did to Moira. But... I'm not leaving this island until she does. Yeah, that's cool and all. Let's shoot. 
<laughs> two out of eleven. Uh, it's so funny. Found none of them in Claire as part of this chat uh, episode. None at all, whatsoever. Anyways, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, there's no, not really a sewers level in Village, but there is um, the flooded village and the mines, and that kind of feels sewerish because you do deal with a giant fish monster as part of the whole shebang. So let's take this map. It's a quarry, not a factory, but whatever. Same fucking vibes. Semantics, truly. All right, let's see what's on the telly screen. Well, that's creepy. And there are creepy noises to accompany what's going on here. Where the hell are we now? The quarry, like the map said. God, Barry, can't you read? Uh, the, the blade handed dudes from the forest. They're back for another round of Peekaboo, I stab you. <laughs> okay, that's a way down, not a way up. Otherwise, we'd be able to lift Natalia up here right now. So, we're gonna have to find the way up there to go around and down. Lock from the other side. We say what? It's locked from the other side. What? Lock from the other side. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm just remembering hip-hop songs from the 2000s. My age is showing quite. Natalia, I think this is you. You're the tiny one. Oh no, neither one of us can do this. Okay, well that's for something else. Then. Never mind, I'm just being a big dum-dum. Forward and onward we must go. The only way Forward up and onward that put on a show. Elevator, you say? What's over here? This is the way down. Yeah. yeah. Did we even fuck with this? Can't get up there. What do we need? Like a box? Do we need one of those crates we gotta carry around? Let's go down here before we keep going up. What was that? It vamooshed. Oh, I think there's a mini boss inside here, if I remember correctly. What's this? Irina's last words. Hey, Irina, you remember from the last let from uh, she was the daughter of the old guy in the sewers. The bodies continue to pile up here. There's so many. My God, what have we done? That woman, that Alex, she didn't come here to save us. She came here to destroy us. My father was right all along. All she wanted to do is make monsters, uh, and people die. We have been helping her do it all this time. How could we have been so stupid? She injected us with all with something. I don't know what it is, but they start to itch. Then their bodies, they just start to fall apart. Once the blindness sets in, that's the final stage. It's just a matter of time for me too. Oh, Papa, I wish you were here. I wish I could see you again. This island is done for. There's nothing left but death. I don't know how much time I have left. I can't, it, it can't be long. Legs already feel funny. Itching started, no focus. Pain, pain, pain in my joints. God help, pa 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 John. Stout, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, papa John's is terrible pizza made by a terrible person. Do not support them. Okay, where we need damage. Increase the damage from the pistol. Damage level four, go up, 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 up. Damage level four, go up. All right, and then we'll increase damage from the assault rifle as well. Give that the level two one. Pistol got the level four, we gave the level two that was attached to it to the other one. Everything is hunky-dory alishmori. You combine a red herb with a green herb, and I think it makes like three green herbs. It's pretty cool. Alright, give me that. Give me that. You can't use them, so I have to. Jesus, there's like nothing to combine anything with here. 
Okay. Alright, we're as good as we're gonna get. We are as prepared as we can possibly be for what comes in, what comes next. I hear drippy dooples. Where was that? Why was that? What was the squishy noise for? Natalia? No? Okay. I don't get it either. What's this? Oh, we needed to do that for something. Not sure what. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. You know, part of me kind of wishes that I would have done this as like a cinematic playthrough. the power switch for the conveyor belt. <gasps> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can ride the conveyor belt up. But first, we must go inside this room and kill something. Inside this building. There's a monster in here. Doesn't this area just scream boss battle to you? Good God, what a mess! Be sick. Well, if you vomit somewhere, make sure it's on the pile of dead bodies. Shit that already doesn't We could matter. probably use this power source. We do need this. We do need this. We gotta pick it up. Yeah. Use it as a frickin'. This is a power source that we need to solve a puzzle, but it also doubles as a thing that we can stand on in order to get to high places. So it's a two for one sale. That's how we reach- No, that's- God fucking damn it! I knew that was coming and it scared me anyways. Eat my ass, you stupid fuck. What the hell is that thing? Just increased my pistol damage, bitch, so let's go. I almost did the wrong thing there. Oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't. You ain't coming for me. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Hands off the girl! Excuse the holy shit out of you. You got a phase two? Oh, no, you're running away like a bitch. Alright, bye. a different way out because he blocked the door. What a bitch. I guess this will do. Bunkle mm -hmm. I'll throw my back out if I try to lug this thing all the way to the elevator. Now we gotta use smart stuff. But first, we're gonna climb up here and climb up here because there's ammo up here. Or something shiny, anyway. Looks like a box of ammo to me. Assault rifle ammo, yep, and we just used a bunch of that, so... Alright, now we have to pick this up again! Carry it all the way over here. There's enemies now, all of a sudden, that weren't there before, because why not? Alright, now we can put this bad boy right here. And we will go pick it up where it drops it off, where it drops off at over here somewhere. But first, we got some fighting to do. Oh, gentlemen! walking towards me like a creepy ass. Can you go under here, Natalia? Yes, you can. That's part of your specialty. She cannot break stuff open without a brick. She needs the brick. Um. Oh, right. This isn't powered on yet. We gotta move the crate first. Where is the crate? Where is it? Where did it get dropped off at? 
That's something broke through there. Okay, I think we gotta go back up. Oh, here it is. It got dropped off right here. I'm just blind and stupid. As per usual. Okay. That'll be a power source when we put it right there, but first we're gonna use it to grab some shit. Like this. Right here. Oh, there's something even further up here. It wouldn't... I don't think it would let me go up here if there wasn't. Yep. Assault rifle ammo. Or rifle ammo. And even further up here on the train tracks... Anything? No? Or is this just for stupid reasons? Oh, there's a body. Oh, cool! He had a rifle! I can switch that out for the other one. Okay, cool. I just do it because I like trying the different weapons. I don't know which one is better and which one isn't, but... Far be it from me to judge the game for giving me a weapon this late in the game and have it somehow be worse than the one I'm already holding, right? <laughs> Alright, now that I've effectively used this to get all the things in this area, I'm gonna put it right here where it belongs to use as a power source so that Natalia can go pull this lever. And she'll pull this side anyway. We gotta pull the other one, I'm sure. They gotta be pulled within so many seconds of each other. Uh-oh. Well, that sounds like it's gonna get something's attention. Alright, we're gonna need this, though. Because there is more high places to reach over here that we couldn't before. And this will help with that. As is its intended purpose. Like this spot right here. This will get us into this building that we can't get into otherwise, where there's a creepy monster. Hello! Alright, that takes care of that. And then we gotta go down here and unlock this door so that we can bring the crate in here, bring it up these stairs and put it on the conveyor belt and then go meet it up there at the thing that we were looking at before. Hey, I didn't even see this earlier. Okay. We got a lot of handgun ammo, so I'm gonna use that for now, especially since I upgraded the damage. Okay, let's go. All right, there it goes. And here's a bottle that we can combine with that for another flame and young. You know how we do. Alright. Up we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. Not right here. Where did it go? Oh, I see. <laughs> Dropped right off over here, didn't it? Alright, now we gotta put it... On this one so that it will travel even further. As far as puzzles go, this is definitely one of the easier ones in the entire franchise. Very straightforward. Okay, and then we'll put the power source here to get the elevator going the way it should be. Once this crate gets dropped off up here, where we need it. Or this power box, or whatever the fuck it is. Crack. Okay, thank you. We'll just drop it off the edge here. Can I push it? There we go. Voila. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I knew you were gonna come to life. I think I'm dumb. Oldest trick in the book. Let's go. Wow, this thing does not have a guardrail. Woohoo! Oh, come on. Not now. Damn it. We get stuck? All right, fine. Guess we're taking the scenic route. I hope you got your jump practice in, Natalia. Damn, she got hops for a tiny kid. Up we go. Natalia, where's your brick throwing abilities? They should come in very handy. Hey, look, another one. Guess we're gonna need it. Might as well grab it. Not before running to the end of these train tracks, though, to see what's over there, maybe. Oh, shit. He's back. God, I guess if it grabs you, that's an instant kill. Okay, got it this time. Knowing that that bitch can kill you in one hit definitely makes the fight a little more intense. A little more frightening. Anyways, there's some reading material right here before we move on. We had a lot of bodies to take care of today, more than usual. These t Phobos trials sure can burn through the available subjects. We used up 30 bodies in just three days. The only thing to do is keep bagging and dumping them in the pit. Alright. Bag them and dump them and bag them and dump them. Bum de bum de bum de boo. Bag them and dump them and bag them and dump them. Doodly do do do. Alright. Stop making such loud noises. You are drawing the enemy directly to us. What now? More progress. Let's keep at it. What else? We'll have that old bitch cornered soon. Yeah, but we won't take care of her until the final episode. You know how this shit goes. Ooh, look. An abandoned something or another for us to explore. Is this the end of the chapter? Oh god, hi Alex! You sneaky creepy fuck! Barry! It shouldn't be like this. I wasn't afraid. 
indeed as I watched my hair turn gray and the flesh sag from my bones. But why aren't you changing? A failure like you. Of course, Natalia is the result of some kind of experiment, just like I'll Evelyn crush you from Seven. My bare hands. <laughs> Dark Natalia forgot about her. We'll learn more about her in the Little Miss DLC. Yes, Alex had her dead to rights, but something scared the shit out of her. What could that possibly be about? That's Dark Natalia, an alternate personality. So, like, in the Little Miss DLC, you play Next as... Next time on Revelations 2. Both of them. My whole life has been a prelude to this. My true birth. Wherever she went, we could still catch her. Nice fucking emergency exit! Down below. I think that's where we'll find her. Time to be the cause of our misery. You will die, child. Run, 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 run! All that remains is one final test. Right, so that'll be the next episode of Resident Evil Revelations 2. But this is it for this one. Uh, the, the final episode is Metamorphosis. Now, just to be clear, the next episode is the final episode of the main game, but not overall. There are two DLC episodes, and I do want to play those eventually, but after I finish the main game, we're going to take a break from this for a while and do something else and then come back to the DLC later because I want to give people enough time to actually like watch all of this before I start jumping into the DLC. So... Anyways, that'll be it for this episode. Let me know what you thought of it and the game so far in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button. If you'd like to get early access to videos like this and other ones and other benefits, then join the Oversoul Club for $5 a month. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.